All right, what is up y'all? Today we are on the search for some fishing deals. Right now we are actually over here in the parking lot of Ollie's Bargain Outlet. This is gonna be cool, man. I filmed a video here like a while ago, but I've not been here for so long. Pretty much what this store is, is what it says in the statement. It's a bargain outlet. You honestly, like you never know what you're gonna find in here. That's really like, that's the fun part about it. In short, companies who have overstocked products or you know, they just don't want their products anymore. Maybe they change their packaging. Maybe it's about to expire. Or they just have old inventory that they want to liquidate. This company buys that stuff and sells it here for cheap. They actually had a lot of fishing stuff. It was pretty cheap too. I don't know why I haven't been back. You never know what you're going to get in here. Last time we were here, they actually did have some fishing stuff. Today, this is what is going to go down. I'm going to give myself a budget of $25. And with that budget of $25, we have to buy a rod, reel, line, lures, everything that we are going to need to hopefully catch some fish today. I think this is going to be interesting, man. It's kind of like a roll of the dice. You just, you really don't know what you're going to get in here. I don't even know if there's going to be fishing stuff. Like, I don't know if that's common or I just got lucky last time. But I figured today, let's go give Ollie a visit, throw it back to a budget fishing challenge. I'm excited because this is kind of like treasure hunting you know we might find some really good deals so let me stop talking man let's get into ollie's hopefully they have some good stuff man all right y'all we've officially infiltrated ollie's now if i remember the fishing section fishing fishing section is kind of like over here in the middle ish to the left as you guys can see look at all this just random stuff you never know what they're gonna have in here let me just give you an example 23.99 when this was normally $45. Just some random decaf breakfast blend, but you see what I'm saying, right? Ooh. Let's go, dude. Okay, so that is definitely a lot more organized than the last time we were here. This is actually kind of crazy. Look at all these freaking rods. They have some combos and stuff. They even have bait casters. Last time I was here, they definitely did not have these. They kind of just had a bunch of like stuff like this, but it was all kind of thrown in like those snow shovels over there. The one thing though, I do not see too many lures. I wonder if there's a different aisle. Hey man, if you need a boat cover, if you're out hunting and need to do math stuff. What are these? I've never seen this before. It's like a, oh, it's a worm cooler. That's kind of, I've never seen that before. Chuck your little night crawlers in there and keep them happy. They even have tents too. I just bought one of these at Walmart not too long ago. Oh my God. They have the thing to put on your car too for your kayak. $14.99. I'm not going to lie. I tried one of these before. I got off Amazon for pretty cheap. It was like, I mean, like $10. That was back when I had my old car and there was like a uh, styrofoam piece that you put on top. And I, dude, my hand was like holding, like my kayak was shaking. I accidentally went down the highway. It was just bad. Okay. Before we waste too much time here, let's take a look at these rods and reels real quick. Let's start from over here. By the way, a little fishing net, $4.49. That's actually, that's pretty cheap, dude. $29.99 for, what the heck is that? Shakespeare ugly stick. Oh, this is a crappy rod. It actually feels pretty good. What the heck? This is like a light or an ultralight. I think this is also, oh yeah, it's a two piece too, dude. This thing is sick. Why do I literally want to buy this? Okay, let me put this back real quick. That is a little out of our budget. Next we got your typical, oh, this is $24.99. What the heck? I did not think that would be so expensive. This is just like your typical Zebco spin caster, the Rhino. If you're into that kind of stuff, man, they got rhinos on rhinos. Shakespeare Ladyfish, Zebco Slingshot, Zebco Splash 2.0. Is this actually glow tip? Wait, does this? I've actually never seen that before. This thing, like the tip, I guess, glows in the dark. This is another rhino thing. All right, let me put that back. Dude, the music is so loud in here. Please don't hear that. More spin cast rods, more rhinos, more Zeb. Oh my God. If you're into Zebco Slingshots, man, they got all the freaking colors. They have a Zebco. Zebco 40, just the reel, it is only $7.99. They have some shiny spin cast reels. I guess these are real combos, Zebco 33 authentic. So that is kind of like the main gist of everything they have there. This is, dude, I have never seen this in Ollie's before. I've never seen these before at all. This is a Zebco, I think it's Protege combo. Why do I feel like I need to get this? No, Ollie's, no, $29.99. Ah, I don't even know. Do they even have any left hand retrieves? <sighs> okay, so. Here's the thing. Originally, I said the budget was $25, but just, 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 dude, believe it or not, every single one of these combos is right hand retrieve, which is dude, it's gonna be a challenge. If I were to get this though, I think that that would kind of be more interesting. Then, you know, if I were to get a spin cast, like one of these cheaper spin casts, or, you know, just another Shakespeare or cheap spinning combo. Maybe like just for this one time, we could bump the budget up, maybe like 35-ish dollars, sort of. I don't know, man, we'll have to think about that, but let's take a look at the other kind of stuff they got here. So they do have these dudes right here that come in like a whole thing with a pocket tackle. We also got a tiny Zebco splash that is $6 for the children, and then for the culture, the frozen, Rod, if you guys not see me fish with this, man, you can click the video up here. This thing literally exploded. Let's just peruse the area. I don't think I've ever used that word before, but there's the calculator we got. What the heck are these? It's a bunch of little pony spools of uh, monofilament, it looks like. We got some tackle boxes, the utility box, $3.99. They also have some tackle boxes. 
as well. Let's take a peek. Not too bad. It looks like kind of super plasticky-ish. Life jackets, motorcycle helmets. Yo, if you order a motorcycle helmet, $25, huh? Hmm, okay. It'll be kind of interesting to compare this to the last time I was here because this they had a whole wall full of fishing lures. So let's see. We have some Shad Scales orange scent outside thermometer two dollars dude that's a freaking deal alert bells if you're gonna like half fishing or something that's actually how much is this man a whole thing of like worm weights three dollars 99 cents they're not tungsten but you know 36 pieces worm weights assorted treble hooks assorted just normal hooks oh the trout hook assortment they called it three dollars 99 cents i could use that lost loot walleye crawler 2h oh i think it's kind of like a little rig you put night crawlers on i think oh dude okay this is where the good stuff is hiding down here they actually have let me grab some of these. They have some Panther Martin spinners. They look kind of small though. Yeah, this looks super small. 132 ounce. How much are they though? Oh, two dollars and ninety-nine cents. So they're a dollar cheaper than normal. If there was like some heavier ones, maybe trout season is coming. Ooh, dude, this is like a hidden gem. Castmasters are always awesome, dude. This is a good find. This is like a really, really good ice fishing lure. Probably use this for a lot of other things as well. Two dollars ninety-nine cents. So this is a dollar cheaper too. What else is all the way down here? Ooh, what the heck? I got some of these dudes right here too. Okay, yeah, no, I'm definitely picking some of these up. Little Cleos, another really good ice fishing lure. Just, you know, just good spoon in general. $2.99, $1 off. Maybe once springtime rolls around in full effect, we'll have a lot more stuff. Last time, dude, I'm telling you, man, they had a whole freaking wall. They had Senkos, they had so much stuff. I actually did not see this though. There's like a whole little basket here. Let's bring that out. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, these things always come in handy. How much is this? $1.99. Right, what else we got in here? Misty Mate, personal mister. More bells. Okay, that's different. Hurricane Slim Minnow Spoon. Look at all of these, dude. They have so many different types. Those cast masters. We got a cool little blue one right there. OG Silver. We got gold. Snap Swivels. Walleye Fishing Line. Like a little thing to put your flies in. Just some more line. They do actually have one of these, too. $1.99. This would be clutch for trout season. I actually need to find my stringer. But yeah, nice little metal stringer right there. I might, I might actually pick that up. I don't know. Let me put this back still, though. Not really anything I was really looking for. No soft plastics are like a bunch of, you know, lures. They're just kind of spoons. Ah, I don't know, man. We're going to have to look around a little bit more. I don't know if this is the only fishing aisle, so maybe... Snow stuff. Yeah, no, not this one. Okay, so with limited options, we're gonna pick up this six pound line and we're going to pick up this combo. A little outside of our budget, but we're just gonna bump that up a little bit. It does not come with line on it, so we gotta put this line on it. And then we are gonna grab one of these little Cleos. I have no clue if this is gonna work or not. This is one third ounce. Let's see which one. Are they different actions? Okay, so they only have six foot sixes, but some are medium and some are medium heavy. I'm gonna go the medium this is gonna be interesting man so that rod and reel combo this line little cleo we well, yeah, out if you guys do have ollie's near you though it's definitely worth a look they have some pretty interesting stuff here man shout out to ollie man that was not too expensive instead of 25 came out to just under 35 dollars so i mean that, it was a little out of budget but we got a bay casting rod and reel combo line and a lore so we're gonna hit up some spots right now hopefully man it, it's still february so i don't know how the bite is going to be i have not fished too much here in delaware recently hopefully we can make some happen so we do not have the most time to fish here today but that is the pond i don't know if you guys can hear it or not but the wind is going freaking bonkers holy crap it is so freaking windy all right so i think actually we're going to start off right here now in the car i did already spool up this reel with the, the six pound line i don't think i've ever thrown this light of line on a bait caster yeah let's see what we could do here today man it's so freaking windy it's cold wind too like it's like 30 degrees out that is freaking chilly dude oh my god i can feel it creeping into my bones it is so freaking chilly man i've only been out here for like five minutes so pretty much what we're starting off with today i know this is not the bait that we got from the place this white chatter bait since it's so windy i'm hoping that it's going to thrive and kind of be our search bait if we could find the fish in here we can hopefully catch them on the cleo oh my god it's so windy all right so there's going to be a lot of struggles here today first of all as i said this is a right-handed retrieve pray for me in the comment section first cast okay that did not go anywhere come on fish it's the first official cast out there this is gonna be a tough one man by the way i'm keeping this plastic on ah, till i officially catch the first fish of the day i'm not having too much of an issue though with the wind and with this light line getting out there uh, the thing is like i don't know how to hold like when i hold it with my left hand i feel like a freaking googan dude but i'm hoping that this wind i mean i, I talk about it all the time the wind blown bank is that a fish uh, oh yeah we got some gunk but yeah i talk about it all the time wind blown bank is usually the best bet especially in these colder months Hopefully the bait fish are getting 
you know, kind of pushed over this way. And hopefully the sun has been warming the water all day on the other side, and then that has been pushing it over here, like the wind. So the top of the water is warm, kind of stirs it up on this side. So far, so good though. We have not yet backlashed. Oh, that is creepy. How far does that go back? Yo, yo. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I will take you guys back there. That is so creepy. <sighs> okay, this is looking good right here. Oh yeah, feel that full force of that Arctic breeze. Let's get this dude out there, let it sink down to the bottom. Get that working, come on man. Know that there are fish in here. It's just freaking February. <laughs> not gonna lie though, this bait caster is not too bad so far. So I fished that pond until dark, no bites. This is now the next day and I spent the whole day throwing an assortment of baits with no fish. Even the day after that, I went out to a different place with nothing. It was so cold, the wind was in the 25 mile per hour range. The actual temperature was in like the 20s. And that was during like a three day span. During fishing, the reel like stopped working too. Like look at this. So with the conditions, I was unable to catch fish with the Ollie's gear. It was like, I was frustrated, man. But at the same time, you know, sometimes it's just about being out there and adventuring and, you know, just being outdoors and fishing. Even if sometimes it's like freaking frigidy Arctic winds. So since we caught like way too many fish in this video, I'm gonna throw it back to a warmer time in Florida, like last month. I have some footage where I caught some pretty cool fish. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. What is it? Kind of, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a uh, barracuda. Different species as well. Wow. Oh, let me get a better grip on this guy. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. All right. This one is freaking cool as heck looking too. This is like legit an aquarium fish right here. Let me give you guys a better look. Look at those colors, man. That is freaking awesome. Alright, this pelican wants him. Anyway, I'm about to throw this stuff. Dude, it happened yet again. Oh my god. Everybody's favorite fish. Oh gosh, the slippery dick. Yeah, this guy, he wants the slippery dick. Oh, it's so freaking cool, man. Sometimes, like these colors are pretty cool, but sometimes like they get really crazy colors. These dudes are so freaking sick, man. Look at them teeth though. That man's jamming out here. Such a beautiful, like, this is so relaxing being out here. Oh my gosh. All right, you were not getting my slippery dick, my guy. You were not getting it, buddy. All right, well, that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today. We fished hard, tried our best. Sometimes, I mean, that's all you can really do, you know? For the winter Delaware struggle, man, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot to me. And if you do enjoy my videos, but you are not already, make sure to go down there, click that subscribe button. And if you never wanna miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. As always, man, thank you guys so much for all the support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.